Good afternoon, redesigners. It's Cece from Cece Restyled and it's noon. It's a Thursday, so here I am clogging up your feed. And today we're playing with some fun stuff, okay? Um, as you can see behind me, I have got um, some molds that I made out of resin and I put them on the sample board, okay? So you can pretend like this is on your furniture or your smalls, whatever you like to put your molds on usually furniture, but you know, whatever. Um, but I just did, you know, this side with black paint, this side with white paint, and I'll tell you why. Again, just a sample board. Um, but real quick, I'm gonna show you which molds I use because these are amazing. I'll pull you in closer so you can see them a little bit better here, Blech, better here in a second. Um, they are Luxembourg Hardware is one of them. And these are from Prima Marketing. They're actually a uh, Frank Garcia line. But look how amazing they are, look. Ah. So they're not real hardware, okay? They're not real hardware, but anything you could use faux hardware on, you're golden. Um, they're, they're also good for back plates, so escutcheons, some people call them. But back plates to knobs or, or um, um, bail poles, they'd be good for that too. Um, this one's called Marcel Hardware. Marcel, Marcel Away Hardware. And that's some bail poles, well, faux bail poles. And then there's Marguerite hardware. And those are more, you know, antique kind of really cool looking. So these are fun. You can use them on picture frames, um, scrapbooking, mixed media, um, little boxes, you know, um, all kinds of stuff. And they're super cute, super detailed. Um, I'll show you real quick my molds that I made here. And I just did them the same on each side. That way um, we can kind of get a good judge of this product that I'm about to show you. Um, so aren't they beauteous? They're so cute. And I'm, finally, I'm glad I finally found a use for them. Even if it is just a sample board, it's going to be the prettiest darn sample board you ever saw. Because we are going to be playing with um, Opal Magic um, acrylic paints. They're called Opal Magic from Prima Marketing. And these are super special. They are um, Art Alchemy from the Finnevere line. And they just look like regular sparkly paints, don't they? Do they just look like regular sparkly paints? Well, um, these are, the Opal Magic are, um, I wanna say, I kinda wanna call them like color shift or chameleon or iridescent. Um, sometimes I call it um, get, uh, oil spill kind of look, oil slick kind of look. Um, they're, so they're multicolored, and depending on what color you use them on, they look different. And we're about to see that. So that's why I have the black and the white on each side, because we're going to try each color on each side so I can show you how cool these are. Um, uh, Opal Magic, right? Okay, so they look, they look really pretty in the box, right? Well, they're going to look really pretty on our um, fake, fake hardware. <laughs> our, our software? Our not hardware i don't know um but we're gonna we're gonna start and let's see i my light is kind of blowing out the white there there we go is that a good view we'll start at the top hi everybody thanks for tuning in just say hello if you're popping on throw me a bone all right i'll scooch in like that you don't need to see me you need to see the beautiful moldings okay so i'm just going to be using a small art brush okay now, you're probably asking yourself, what would I use these paints for? Why am I going to want to use these paints? Um, I use them for a multitude of things. I use them, to, you can use them to, to hand paint moldings like we're about to do right now. You can use them to paint in um, transfers, so either black and white transfers or transfers that uh, you want to maybe change the color on a couple flowers or add some color or add some metallic sparkle or opalescence. Um, so those are some uses. You can also, um, you know, use them in place of gilding waxes. Um, they're a little bit different to apply. You probably don't want to use your finger. You probably definitely want to use a little art brush, but, um, but you can, like if you're tired of the regular old gold, silver, copper, um, hey everybody, if, you, if you're looking for something in specific or tired of the regular old metallic gold, silver, and copper, these are a great alternative. Um, and so you just want to make sure that you're going, getting the look you want by um, testing it out first because, because of the opalescence. 
Um, it looks different, like I said, on, on different colors. So if I can get this open, we're gonna go ahead and start with these three. And this comes in a three pack, and this one's called Ocean. So there's nine different colors. Um, as far as I know, there's only nine, there may be more. Um, if I could get this open, that would be freaking awesome. Hold on, I gotta get a knife. Okay. So these, you can shake them up. They're very finely pigmented. So you can shake them, up, shake them up, but I like to take the end of my art brush and, hold on, I will show you. So we're gonna start with, this one's called Blue Pink. I like to take the end of my art brush and just stir it around with my art brush. I'm running out of room here for stuff. So just give it, well, once you get the seal off, give it a little stir, just like that, to mix those pigments up real good. Real nice and good. You wanna get them real nice and goodly mixed up, huh? Look how pretty that is. Um, yummy, yummy, yummy. So, that this one is called Blue Pink. So we're gonna start there. And I will show you what it looks like on black. So you don't need to start with a whole lot. And I found that most of these um, Art Alchemy paints, you can do one coat, but obviously it's up to you how much shimmer, how much sparkle, or how much opalescence you want. So we're gonna start with one coat on black. And I'm just gonna lightly kind of brush it on my black, my black molding here. It, this one reminds me of cotton candy. Does it, does it look, oh man, it does not look on my, on my screen like it does. Oh my gosh, hold on. Let me try to move this a little bit. In real life, it looks like cotton candy. I don't know if y'all can see that. Maybe you can get a little closer. Um, these are made by Prima Marketing. So you can get them from some Prima retailers um, definitely on Etsy, and I believe the Opal Magic you can even get in Hobby Lobby, to be honest. Not all the colors, but the Opal Magic line, I believe you can. So we're just kind of dabbing some on. Can always add more if we want. We're just gonna, let's just go for it. And it's, it's, I can, I don't know, can you guys see the blue? So this one's called Blue Pink. Can you see the like different shades of colors in that? How in some, from some, you know, angles it looks blue and from some it looks pink, which is probably why it's called blue pink. But isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Um, so let's see what it looks like on white. That's blue pink. Ha, huh, Pam. I know, right? It's so hard not to want to carry everything. I'm not even a retailer and I want to carry everything. Let's just put a little bit more on, see how that dries, because I'm interested. Okay, so let's, let's see how it looks on white now. Okay, so on white, look at that, it's blue. Is that crazy or what? It's like magic, it's magic, you guys. Who knew I was a magician? Did y'all know this? Did you all know I was a magician? I am. So blue pink is blue on light colors and pinkish hued on the dark colors. So that's really pretty. I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next color, which is I'm dying to get this color open here. The next color is, um, teal blue, okay? So, isn't that pretty? Teal blue. And I'm just gonna stir up with the end of my brush here. And I might need a trash can, please and thank you. Thanks. All right, so the end of this brush is a um, texturizer, but you know what? I'm still gonna use it to stir up my paint. You definitely wanna stir these paints up, you guys. The pigments are super duper fine, and you can shake them all day long, but stirring is 
king, okay? Stirring is gonna get those all mixed up where shaking can't. Okay, so this one is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so yummy. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start on the dark again. Oh my gosh, look at that. Is that pretty? All right, so we're gonna start on the dark. Stay on the deck. Ooh, ah, this is my fave so far. Okay, I know we're only two in, but it's still my favorite so far. Look at it. So this one kind of gives a very purpley opalescence, so purple teal. It's actually called, what did I call it? Teal slash blue, but I'm seeing some purple in there, you guys. Um, let me know if, if my lighting is reflecting too much and you can't see very well or what. My screen is not real accurate um, when I'm on the live. It kind of darkens a little bit, so I can't really see. Um, but I want you get it, to get a true gauge of how amazing these look. And imagine what you can do with these on your projects. Because they are awesome sauce. So pretty. Very chameleon. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to really lay it on right here. Okay. So this one has a little bit of a purplish hue, right? Is that pretty? Um, okay, so now we're going to put it on the white and see what happens on the white. See if it changes. Oh, yes, it's very teal. That's quite a bit different. Uh, I don't know that I like that on the white, to be honest. I definitely dig in it on the black way more. Um, so, yeah, if you're just hopping on, um, I was naming a few uses for these uh, acrylic paints from the Art Alchemy line of... Um, Finna Bear, she does um, a lot of, she does the uh, metallic waxes, that's part of her line, a lot of um, mixed media stuff, and I really love all her products, um, and they are just one of the designer lines at Prima Marketing, so you can find these on Etsy. Okay, so I, that's a pretty, pretty color. Um, it's not quite as opalescent or shimmery as it is on this side, on the, on the darks, but um, I'm sure you could find a use, sure you could find a use for this color. I mean, am I right on something? I, I'm interested to see what it actually looks like on blue. But I'm sorry, I'm an underachiever. I'm just doing black and white today. So our last color in the packet, um, the, three, the set of three called Ocean, the last color is um, blue violet, okay? So we had blue pink teal blue and now we have blue violet so any guesses of what these colors are gonna look like I don't know we may be surprised so look how pretty that is you can see it this one definitely looks like cotton candy did not one look like cotton candy for show Oh, show that is definitely liquid cotton candy right there uh, okay and here we go I'm gonna just dab this right on with my art brush on the black side. Ooh, you guys, I can't even right now. I can't, I can't even with that. Are you seeing this? Okay, so the, the further in we get, the more favorites, my, my favorites are changing. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. We're gonna have to set this one aside and use this real soon, like. Look how pretty that is, you guys. Can you see that um, opal kind of color change thing happening? I'll move, your, I'll move the camera around in just a second to get some different angles. So see if you can catch the light and catch the different colors. I'm dead. I am so dead. My life is complete now after blue violet. I can be done pretty much. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get you a good angle here. Okay, so can you see, wait, hold on, there we go. Can you see the color changing? Maybe. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Is that so pretty? It's like chameleon, very chameleon. All right, so let's try it on the white and see what happens. What do you think is gonna happen? Okay, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, let's see. Let's find out, okay? And then we got this pretty cotton candy blue, blue raspberry type color, this is pretty. Again, I wanna see what this would look like on some blue. All right, oh, very pretty. And I'm interested also to see what a second coat looks like. We might have to try that with a couple of these just to see. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, you can color in your transfers, add some metallic or opal sheen to your transfers, especially, you know, paint in the black and white ones to do a real custom look. You can use them on your moldings like I'm showing you. Um, even though this is just a sample board, you know, I do these moldings on jewelry boxes and furniture and, and you can use these for sure on that. Um, you can seal them um, with water-based sealer. You can also do them last, that's fine too. Um, they are acrylic paint, so pretty versatile. Let's go ahead and jump back over here real quick and do a second pass on the middle. I just wanna see what it's gonna look like. Oh, still purple. Still purple, okay. Isn't that pretty? I love the purple. Purple's kind of my favorite color though, not gonna lie. All right, we've got the next set of three, okay, so these come in sets of three, three packs. The next one is, that's, this one is actually called Cotton Candy. Uh, oh my God, this one's called Cotton Candy. So we've got this kind of reddish rose color, um, minty kind of color, and a yellow. I'm very interested. You have piqued my interest here, people, with this Opal Magic. And again, you can probably find these at a Prima retailer on Etsy, I'd imagine, um, unless they are sold out or what have you. Um, you can also get them at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if every Hobby Lobby, but you can get the three packs at most Hobby Lobbies. Um, and, all right. So here we go. Coral Green is the first one. These are just getting more and more interesting. So Coral Green, this one's called Coral Green, okay? So stir it up with the end of my brush. Make sure all those super fine mica powder pigments are nice and um, evenly distributed. That's a pretty color, look at it. It's like a really pretty lip gloss. Really pretty lip gloss color. Don't put it on his lip gloss though, I'm not suggesting that. This isn't a makeup show. All right, so let's try it on our black first. Let me scoot you around just a little bit. Ooh, very pretty. So if you are familiar with opal essence or opals, the actual stone, they have, um, you know, all the different colors reflected in the light, depending on, you know, kind of how it's shining. And these are definitely living up to their name of opal magic. Opal Magic. So what was this one called again? Coral Green? Yeah, that's about right. Do, can you guys see the coral and the green like happening there? I see more coral in, in real life, but when I look at my screen, it looks more green. This is a beaut. I'm telling you what. This one's so pretty. This is probably my new second favorite. Oh my gosh, so pretty. What would you do with these, you guys? You can use them on moldings. You can use them to hand paint things, anything really, paint in your transfers. Um, I don't know, what would you do? Is there something interesting, crazy you would do with them that I'm not thinking of? I wanna know. Inquiring minds need to know, okay? Tell me, tell me. So, ooh, I wonder what a little tiny paint pour would look like. So can you see the, Okay, can you see the coral and the green reflecting there? Which is why it's called coral green. Is that cool or what? It's so pretty, so pretty. Now we gotta try it on white, okay? So I'm interested to see what this looks like on white. So far I'm digging these all on the dark colors. 
They're a little more straightforward on the white, am I right? And a little more mysterious on the black. Okay, so this is, on white, this is just coming out pretty straight coral, and that's cool. Maybe you need a coral um, gilding wax and you don't have a coral gilding wax, so you can use these little paint jobbies. And boom, problem solved. Problem solved. I do love a good coral though. Very pretty. And I'm digging these moldings too. I'm gonna have to find more things to use um, these, mold, these hardware molds on. These beautiful, okay. So that is coral green. Uh, our next one would be doo -doo 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 -doo, teal pink. Teal pink, okay? So it looks like this real pretty mint color in the box, or in the jar, sorry. So uh, teal pink, okay? Pretty, right? Am I right? All right, let's see what this one has in store for us. What kind of mysterious color is it gonna turn on the black? Okay, so minty, minty green. And then we're gonna kind of paint it on. And so far, so far this one's looking a lot like the coral green. So that's interesting, very similar. I guess a little less coral, a little more pink. But you can definitely see both colors. You can see the green and the pink in here, which is really cool. Very chameleon, very color shifty. It's magical. I love it. These are gonna be my new obsession, you guys. Opal magic, all the things. Opal magic, all the things. Okay, cool. So let's see what it looks like on white now. It looks very similar to the last one, doesn't it? Very similar. Let's see. Green, coralish. Oh, sorry, there you go. Is that focused? Yeah, I dig it on the darker colors. I mean, I guess some people would like a more straightforward color, like it's turning out on the white. But I like the mysterious color changing magical properties of the um, how it's turning out on the black. So, but let's try it on the white and see what happens. Maybe we'll be surprised. I don't know. Oh, it's minty. Just some mintiness. And that's all right. You know, maybe you need some minty, minty paint in your life. I don't know. So that one's a little more straightforward again on the white. No surprise there. Kind of seeing a pattern with this, you know. All right, so now on to the next one. We're gonna do, and we've only got four left, okay? So don't worry, this isn't an all day affair. There's only nine colors and we're halfway through. So the next one is yellow pink. I'm pretty excited about this one because I love me a good yellow because you know why? It reminds me of gold. I know, right? Nothing I do is straightforward either. Okay, that's absolutely not true. I'm pretty straightforward when I'm speaking and sometimes, sometimes maybe a little too straightforward, you know what I'm saying? All right, look at this pretty yellow. This is my mom's favorite color, this pretty pastel yellow. Can you see the light kind of changing the color on the lid? I can, just faintly. All right, so. I'm gonna give it a stir. Give it a stir with my brush end. Ooh. You guys. Look how pretty that is. It's kind of like <laughs> pearly melted butter. All right, so here we go again on the black. Wait, can you see that even? Here, let me. There you go. And this is kind of looking like it's gonna come out um, goldish, you know what I'm saying? 
Um, yeah, these brushes are Finnebear texturizing brushes. So one side is our brush and the other side has different kind of, I don't know, um, uh, squeegee type dealies and you can create texture in your, te in your paste or your paint or uh, whatever you're um, creating. Pretty cool. Okay, so this is yellow pink and I love the yellow because it reminds me of gold and I love gold and this is no exception. It's really pretty. Can you see the kind of purplish hue that it's taking on? Yellow, purplish pink. So pretty. It's so, so pretty. I mean, my wheels are really turning, you guys, with all the things I can do with these paints. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look. So it's like it's like gold, but with a purple hue. Oh, it's magic. Look at that. Boom. It's so pretty. I can't. I can't even right now. Okay, so we gotta try it on white. That's our uh that's our pattern here. Black then white, then black then white. And no surprise here, it is just kind of yellow. Not much opalescence or iridescence on the white, we've decided, but that's okay. It's still actually quite pearly, um, especially when they dry, they become a little bit more pearly, which is neat. Okay, so that's yellow pink. All right, isn't that crazy? Just looking at one side to the other, like how different they are. You're like getting two paints in one. Look at those up there. As they're drying, they're getting even more sparkly, aren't they? Oh, more sparkly, more sparkle. Okay, so we've got three left. And this next, or this last set of three, um, package of three is called Pastel Dream. Pastel Dream. And it's got, these actually look very opalescent in the package. The other ones don't as much. And these look super opalescent. So I'm very excited to see um, what these look like. Um, if I can get them open. With, I need my knife. Knife. <sighs> All right. Boom. So, numero uno. This one is called Violet Gold, okay? You had me at gold, all right? You had me at gold. Let's check out this Violet Gold. Oh my goodness, I can't even imagine. Purple's my favorite color and gold is my favorite metallic, so purple, gold. It's a double whammy of goodness. This one better not let me down, come on. Violet Gold, don't let me down. All right, so. Shake it up for good measure, but I'm going to stir it up for even better measure. Oh my goodness, you y'all, look at that. Wait, uh, wait, which way? There, there we go. Look. It's like liquid pearls, you guys. Doesn't it look like liquid pearls? So I'm just stirring it up, stirring it up. Look how pretty that goodness is. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, less talking, more testing. Oh my gosh, but I can't, look. Oh, okay, so violet gold, here we go. On black, ooh, that's pretty. Mama likey that one. Oh, look at that. It is, it's violet and gold. Okay, this is my new favorite. Sorry, purple blue, but or whatever you were called. I don't even remember your name now. This is my new favorite. Wow. Oh, but that hair is not part of the test. No, it's not. I'm gonna shave my head, I'm sure of it, real soon. Okay. Wow, this one is super pretty. And it's, uh, this one seems a lot more opaque than the others. As you can kind of tell, I'm getting a little bit better coverage. I'm not sure exactly what the cause of that is, but it's a little less translucent. So that's cool. I'm all about opaque. Wow. Dude. 
That's pretty. Can you see? Can you see the beauteousness that is purple gold? Oh, hold on, sorry, I'm trying to get you down there. There we go. Oh, come on. I'll drag you in close when I have both hands available. Right now I'm trying to do it with one hand and that ain't working so well. So um, I will shave my head if I want to. It's my party and I'll shave my head if I want to. All right, now let's try it on white. Oh, okay. This is a very pretty violet, lilac-y type lavender color. Um, so it's purple's my favorite. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that out of all the ones on the white side of the board, this is mama's favorite. Kind of hands down, unanimous decision there. I think a lot of what I like about this one too is that coverage. It's very, it's not translucent, which I dig. It's pretty, right? Oh, okay, so Sue, so these are, um, <laughs> um, these are, okay, um, I know this is backwards for you, so I'm sorry, but these are from Prima Marketing, okay, they have a designer line called Finnebear, and she has these acrylic paints um, that they are called Opal Magic, um, so they are Art Alchemy Opal Magic from Finnebear. Let me see if I can find a bigger... Yes, Art Alchemy Opal Magic. Sorry, that's backwards, I know. But you can read backwards, right? I know you can. Brittany, Hello. I know. I'm like, what was it, 2000, Brittany? That's where I'm at right now. That's where I'm kind of at right now. Okay, so here we go. Second to last color will be... Dun, 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 dun. This one's called Aqua Rose, okay? Look at this. Boom. Aqua Rose, okay? Shake it, don't break it. And then we're gonna um, stir it for good, good or measure, okay? Now, oh man, come on. That's why I wear an apron. Cause when you drop these things on you, you don't get them on your clothes. Okay, so I'm gonna stir it with the end of my brush just because. I like to get those mica powders and pigments all nice and stirred up. Look how pretty. This one's very, very feminine looking in, um, in the jar. All right, so on the black, can you guys see the black? All right, yeah, you can see the black. All right, so, ooh. Now this one's very cotton candy too. Not a whole lot unlike the very first one we did. Um, I'll, I'll be honest, it's very similar. And I'll show you them all again one more time before I hop off. Um, in case you missed it or want to see some again. These are amazing. You guys run to Hobby Lobby now. Run to Hobby Lobby. Get these now. That way you don't have to wait for um, shipping because if you're like me, you're impatient. So you don't want to wait for ship time when you could just go to Hobby Lobby. Not that I'm a huge proponent proponent of um, big box stores, because I'm not, but Hobby Lobby. If they didn't have everything, I wouldn't want to shop there. Look at that, isn't that pretty? So this one, what did I call it? It was um, Aqua Rose. You can definitely see the aqua. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the rose, but I can see it in the details. Deep down in the details, I can see the rose. And let's try it on white. Boom, there's the rose. Aqua Rose, Aqua Rose, Aqua Rose. That's why it's called Aqua Rose. Very pretty. That's really pretty. I digs, I digs. All right. So, oh man, I can't wait to pan out and show you the whole side of the black side all at once because it's just so pretty. Yes, butterfly wings is amazing. So I don't believe Hobby Lobby has the brushes, um, but they do have the Opal Magic. They have, I think, some of the Sparks paints, which are um, very similar. They're in these little pots, but they're a little bit more shimmery rather than opaly, if that makes sense. So um, more sparkle, less less pearl essent. And then there's the Metallic, which are, I know it's a little bit confusing. There's so many different kinds, but the Metallic, 
also come in this, and they're just um, metallic. So there you've got opal, opal magic, which is pearlescent, sparks, which is more sparkly, I guess is a good way to remember it, and metallic, which is more metallic. So, but they're all beautiful, so you can't really go wrong, no matter which ones you pick, TBH. So our very last one, our very last um, test subject is blue gold, okay? Blue gold. So Hobby Lobby sells a few things um, from Prima. Um, not everything. There's a few select things that they do sell there, um, including these paints, okay? But, you know, I do really, really highly suggest you finding a retailer first, supporting a small business. Maybe do a little search on Etsy. Um, and if you can find one that's convenient enough, I would get it from a, from a retailer. But, but Hobby Lobby, I'm just saying, in a pinch to get your fix. The good old HL is awaiting. But yes, they do have a few Prima products. Not a whole line by any means. Um, okay, so blue gold is our last one, you guys. And look at these, look at these, um, this mold, okay? These are all from one mold. One silicone mold. You got this um, lion pole ring. These are some of my favorites. I've actually, you know, these are very, these mimic actual real antique hardware. Um, and I love those. And then, of course, I'm always a sucker for keyholes. I mean, I would put keyholes on everything. That one kind of looks like a doorbell, to be honest. So I don't really get that one. But um, keyhole, little teeny tiny uh, bell pole. I dig. Okay, so here's our last one, you guys. Drum roll. Blue gold. And, oh, this is pretty. It's like a very baby bluish, goldish baby blue, for lack of a better term. All right, let's see. All right, we're going to stir it up real quick with the end of our brush because we shook it, but we really want to make sure it's nice and stirred up to get the full quality. So you can definitely see the gold, right? That's why it's called blue gold. You can even see it in the pot, see? I dig. All right, so on the black. All right, here we go, on the black. Let's try blue gold. Ooh, that's, oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. That's a beaut. Look at that. That's really pretty, you guys. Can you imagine how much fun it would be to use these together on a mold? Like, you know, in consecutive order, get a really super opaly look. Okay, so that's blue gold on the black. All right, so we're gonna scooch on over to the white and see how that appears. And it's just pretty blue, really pretty blue, like a, oh, this reminds me of like a Marie Antoinette blue, French blue, a French bleu. I love me love okay cool so what do you think are these awesome or what I'm in love I'm kind of obsessed with these and I'm gonna be looking for every excuse under the Sun I can to use these so <clears throat> um, I use resin in these molds and they are Prima's Prima marketing um, from the Frank Garcia line so um, they are Memory Hardware by Frank Garcia, um, but they're made by Prima. Um, there's Marguerite Hardware, which you can see there. Theirs aren't as pretty as mine here on the, you know. Um, yeah, right? Oil slick, that's what I'm thinking. Um, there's Marcel Hardware. Oh, with a stencil, Julie, that's genius. I like your thinking. <laughs> And yes, Sue, uh, I, yeah, I'm going to hold my comment there. But yeah, let's see. Luxembourg hardware, that's the one we just did. Aren't those so gorgeous? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so um, you can find these from Prima, a Prima retailer. Not everyone, but if you go on Etsy, most of them have Etsy stores. Um, so those are the molds I use in resin. I'm going to pin you up, and we'll do one quick close-up going down all of the... Um, 
all of the colors one more time. And I'm sorry, I won't remember the names on all of them, but that way you can see them um, on all the detail. And when they dry, they kind of change slightly. They get a little more, um, well, obviously a little less glossy when they're dry, but uh, let's, I think a little more sparkly too. So starting at the top, I think that one was blue pink. And then we had, okay, I'm not even gonna pretend like I remember the names, but, but I'm mesmerized. I'm mesmerized by the color changing on these. So pretty. Isn't that not pretty? And of course you can see it on the white too, okay? I'm not trying to sway you towards using it on dark colors, but use it on dark colors. It looks amazing. So that one was the coral green, wasn't it? I think that one was coral greens. Can you see the coral when we turn this way? <gasps> yes. Do you see the coral? <sighs> That's amazeballs. All right, and then this one I think was green pink, I believe. That one's really pretty too. Can you see the different colors as I kind of tilt? Sorry, I'm, I'm neglecting our white side over here. Sorry, whitey. Those are a little more straightforward. They look like the color in the in the jar. Um, and then we can move down here. This one was, oh gosh, yellow gold or yellow violet gold. Violet gold, that one was my favorite. So when we turn this way, you can see the violet and the gold shimmer is very apparent. And then I'm not gonna pretend I remember the names of the last two, but aren't they so pretty? Let's see if I can focus a little bit better there. Brr, there we go. Is that better? See them from different angles. I'm just trying to get you to see them from the different angles where the colors change. I am impressed. I am mesmerized, impressed, and uh, these are pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie, these are freaking awesome. I can't wait to use these on, um, <laughs> I know, I know, the y'alls and the amazeballs. I love Pam. Um, so yeah, so those are the um, Opal Magic Art Alchemy Acrylic Paints from Prima Marketing. And I cannot wait, you guys. Um, I don't paint a whole lot of things black, but <laughs> I kinda wanna paint something black now with lots of molds on it. Um, so um, yeah, I cannot wait to see what you all come up with. If you get your hands on some of these, do some fun stuff, post some projects, and show us all how it turned out, okay? Um, yeah, lots of possibilities there. Yum. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to hop off, and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and make it through the rest of your Thursday, and I'll see you next Thursday right here, um, noon, in the Redesign with Prima Facebook group. So um, I'll catch you next time. Bye.